September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary, I believe I'm a good person, you know, I think that there's good happy one, but, um, here we are, the first day of senior year, and, um, uh,
I'd like to be their boyfriend. That would be cool. I'm the table, guys would notice me. So beautiful. <laughs> Grow up, Heather. Believe me, I'm so 87. Heather's right. Maybe you should see a doctor, Heather. Yeah, Heather. Maybe I should. Uh, Heather and Heather. Uh, and Heather. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear the bell over all the vomiting. You're late for class. Heather wasn't feeling well. We're helping her. Not without a hall pass, you're not. Weeks detention. Um, actually, Miss Fenling, all, all four of us are out on a hall pass for a yearbook committee. So you're all listed. Hurry up, get where you're going. This is an excellent forgery. Who are you? Uh, Veronica Sawyer, I, um, I, I crave a bone. What? Boon. Um, let me sit at your table with you at lunch just once. No talking necessary. If people think you guys tolerate me, then they'll leave me alone. <laughs> Before you answer, I also took report cards, permission slips, and access notes. How about prescription? Shut up, Heather. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. Greasy <laughs> little nobody. You do have good bone structure and a symmetrical face. If I took a meat cleaver down the center of your skull, I'd have matching gas. <laughs> Of course you can stand to lose a few pounds. And you know, you know, you know, this could be beautiful. Mascara, maybe some lip gloss, and we're on our way. Get this girl some blush, and Heather, I need your blush. Let's make her I've been watching you and thinking 
come out of some of the old days. I hope you can come to my homecoming party this weekend. Miss you, ma'am. Put an XO after the signature. What is this for anyway? I just found out that Ram used to hang with Martha Dump Truck. Well, yeah, in kindergarten we all did. We all did a kiss on the kickball field. Oh, that's right, I remember. Ram kissed Martha Dump Truck. It was disgusting. Perfect. It'd be so righteous to be in the middle of a Heather Chandler oh. Veronica Sawyer sandwich. Oh, Hell yeah, punch it in. Let me do talk to that, Florida. Oh, don't read it. She's having an extra heavy flow and wanted some advice for my gyno. Ew, bro! <laughs> what are you doing? Please don't do this, okay? Not to Martha. What? You'll give her shower nozzle masturbation material for a week. Shut up, Heather! <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> years now, okay? This, this would kill Are me. we gonna have a problem? Do you got a bone to pick? You've come so far, why now are you pulling on my dick? I got her to slap your face off, and everyone here could watch. But I'm feeling nice. Here's some advice. Listen up, biatch! Veronica's into his axe, no doubt. Let's kick his ass! <laughs> <laughs> 
no, we're seniors, man. We're too old for that shit. Hey, sweetheart! What'd your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? <laughs> My buddy Kurt just asked you a question. Hey, Graham, doesn't the cafeteria have a no fags allowed rule? Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. <laughs> <laughs> Why, when you see boys fight, does it look so horrible, yet feel so right? Oh, I should watch this crap, but not who I am. Look at this kid. <laughs> Martha. 
maybe I want more out of life than liver or small. <laughs> Those girls seem really nice. <laughs>
I go. So I see. Coin nuts? Yeah, yeah, right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, bye bye to red dawn here, and let's motor! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Heather! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god, I just killed my best friend! And your worst enemy! Same difference! <laughs> Wait, the police are gonna think that I did this on purpose. Oh my god, they're gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin. <laughs> Unless. Oh, look! She was reading. The bell joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. You can fake her handwriting. Just make it sound deep. Like this. I had pain in my path. Like Sylvia Plath. My problems were myriad. I was having my period. <laughs> <laughs>
to pass them around now. They're refueling the buses, which gives us a solid half hour of healing. Now, I'm giving you grab copies of Suicide Notes so you all can feel the hammer's anguish. I never knew about her pain. No, her life had hit a rocky patch. We don't down she was a cruel cool orphan. She didn't need to be a snatch. Veronica, <laughs> you've been awfully quiet. What's on your mind? Uh, maybe Heather realized that uh, in order to be happy, she had to give up her power, and that the only way to do that was death. My God, look what we've done! We're breaking through. Heather would be so proud of you. And you Yeah. 
out. <laughs> Me and Kurt and Ram and Heather Duke came out to pour a jug of Thunderbird on Heather's grave, you know, from her homies. <laughs> No! <laughs> then Heather and Ram went off together and Kurt started grabbing me and wouldn't stop. Uh -huh. Wait, after everything that happened at Ram's party, why did you call me? Oh, well that was the deal. If I got you to come, Kurt promised to leave me alone. <laughs> so, so you avoided date rape by volunteering me for date rape. <laughs> God, you make it sound ugly. <laughs> I'm leaving now.
me feel even worse. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Still really looking forward to that apology from both of you for being two ice cold bitches last night. Um, uh, cleaning out Heather's locker? A little respect? Uh, Heather Duke is such a sad little poser. <laughs> Veronica, tell her to stop touching my stuff. Veronica! Veronica!
Just wait till you see the good that comes of this. No good could possibly come of this. Call me an optimist. Dear diary, my teenage bullshit has a body count. <laughs> <laughs> Here. I'm ashamed, certainly. My family has turned that counter into a laughing stock. My boy Kurt isn't who I thought he was, and when I think of the sick, disgusting things that Kurt and Ram were doing. You wait just a minute, Paul. <laughs> it is ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place that boys could not live in. They were not dirty. They were not wrong. Yes, my boy is a homosexual, and that don't scare me none. I want the world to know. I love my dead gay son. <laughs>
of the air. Is that tolerance? Inclusion, <laughs> love. How often can you say it's a good day to live in Sherwood, Ohio? You're welcome, town. Hey, you don't have to be so smug about it. Well, your love is made humble. So who's next? <laughs> Heather Duke? She's the one that started that three-way rumor. I've been underlining meaningful passages in her copy of Moby Dick, if you know what I mean. No! No, I do not accept this. We've already killed three people. This ends right here, right now. Or what? I'll... I'll break up with you. Any war is casualties. Doesn't mean it's not worth fighting. What? What? You, you, you'd rather go to jail? And, and give a free pass to the thugs who hurt people? Evil fucks that make life so unbearable that you can't stand to live in the world anymore. Jay. How did your mother die? You really want to know? Yeah. My dad said it was an accident. She knew what she was doing. She walked into that building two minutes before Dad blew it up. She waved at me out the window, and then kaboom. She left me. I'm really sorry. I... It's OK. The pain gives me clarity. You and I are special. We have a lot of work to do. What oh, work? Making the world a decent place for people who are decent. When does it end? When every asshole is dead! Fine, we're damaged. Really damaged, but that does not make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. We don't choose who lives or dies. Let's be normal. See bad movies. Sneak a beer and watch TV. We'll bake brownies or go bowling. Don't you want a life with me? Can't we be seventeen? It's all I want to do. Or they 
You know exactly what he is, and you love it. Stop talking. Only a true dead best friend would give it to you straight. Veronica, I need your help. Sure. What? Something doesn't add up. I think Rand and Kurt were murdered. Well, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Woo! <laughs> No, look, I had to hurt her, okay? If JD caught her going through his stuff, he would- Kill her? Is that what you're afraid of? I thought the Desperado hung up his six guns. Don't you trust him? I look everywhere for it. Veronica, there you are. I need to throw the place to the assembly. Oh, right, this thing, Christ. I can tell to the battle of my now. Show the muscle. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast?
in despair. I'm trying to call, chopped off my hair. I chant, I pray, the God's not there. So see, I'm ending our affair. <laughs> that I faked it every time. Oh, 
buttons from Moby Dick. I appreciate a well-read woman. What's in the envelope? Oh, crap. Just a tangible reminder that at one point in around age six, I'm guessing, you and Martha Dunstock were friends. Where'd you get these pictures? Did Veronica give them to you? What do you want, money? A favor? No way. Oh, I really love this one of you and Martha in the bathtub together. <laughs> these photos are ancient history. Nobody cares about the past. Nobody cares about Martha Duntra. There was a boy I met in kindergarten. He was sweet. He said that I was smart. He was good at sports and people liked him. And at nap time once we shared a nap. I didn't sleep, I sat and watched him breathe. I watched him dream for nearly half an hour. Then he woke up. He pulled a scab off one time playing kickball. Kissed me quick, then pressed it in my hand. I took that scab and put it in a rocket.
trying to sign it in the dweebs and losers. I'm not signing that. Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? <laughs> it was your boyfriend's idea. Who did you? He made up the signature sheet and everything. Hold on. I don't know what JD is up to, but if you know what's good for you, please just throw that away. Not a chance. I'll just fake your signature like I did with Martha Dump Truck. She's in no shape to sign anything today. Why not? It was on the radio. She took a belly flop off the old mill bridge last night, holding a suicide note. Oh my god. Oh, just some broken bones. Just another geek trying to imitate the popular people and failing miserably.
please. I'm running out. Open the door. I'm running out. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? We're running out. Oh, you're scared by the people. Yeah, I can set you free. We're running out.
of this is that I never got to write my own suicide note. <laughs> Smart girl. Bring the trigger bomb out here to the football field and nobody dies. Except you. If you keep holding on to that thing. I don't deserve to live. I respectfully disagree. Give it to me. Stay away from me. Or what? I am damaged. Far too damaged. But you're not beyond repair. Stick around here. It ends better. Cause you beat me fair and square. Please stand back now. A little further. <laughs> Don't know what this thing will do. Hope you miss me. Wish you kiss me. Then you know I worship you. I'll trade my life for yours. Oh my God. Happy ending. 